This is a basic tutorial to get you started with ClearMap, Clear Creek County's online mapping application. To access ClearMap, first go to the main county website, which is co.clear-creek.co.us. From this page, click on the online services link, which is at the lower left-hand part of the screen. Now from here you'll see there are three links for ClearMap on the lower part of the screen. Click on ClearMap New to access ClearMap from a desktop or laptop computer. ClearMap Old is our older legacy version of ClearMap, which will be going away soon. Click on ClearMap Mobile to access ClearMap from handheld devices such as tablets and smartphones. ClearMap Mobile will have a little less functionality and a few less tools than the desktop version, but most of the functionality is there. But for this tutorial, let's work with the desktop version of ClearMap. So let's click on ClearMap New. Proceed to Site. Now the first time you may be prompted to download a required Microsoft Silverlight plugin, which is free. Most new computers will already have this plugin installed, so you might not even receive that prompt. Okay, so here we are in ClearMap. Now there are three main sections. We have the main map section here. On the left is an information panel, initially displaying our legal disclaimer for the site as well as some basic navigation tips below. And then up on top we have a toolbar. This contains a wealth of tools organized and contained in these five tabs on top. We'll be looking at this toolbar later in more detail, but for now let's look how we can minimize both the toolbar and this information panel to increase the size of our main map section. To minimize the toolbar, on the upper right hand part of the screen we have this little tool icon just click on that to hide the toolbar click on that icon again to bring back the toolbar in a similar fashion for the information panel on the left there's this little arrow to the left of the I want to button click on that to hide the information panel and click on the arrow again and it reappears now there's a lot of data available to work with in ClearMap. To access this data, click on the Map Layers tab on the lower left-hand part of your screen. Now the data, which is also known as layers, are organized into folders. Just click on the plus sign next to any folder. So for example, for PLSS data, click on the plus sign and we can see we have township line data as well as section line data. S click on the minus sign to collapse the folder. In a similar fashion, let's see what we have under the water folder. We have streams data and lakes data. Let's look at one more. Let's expand the cadastral folder. And here we have, this is where you'll find parcel data, zoning data, subdivisions, as well as a lot of other data related to cadastral data. Let's minimize that. Let's open up the PLS data folder again. Now to turn data on or off, just check or uncheck the box next to the data. So for example, if we uncheck the township lines, they disappear from our map here on the right. Check it and they come back. In a similar way, if you want to turn off all the data that's within one folder, just click on the check box mark next to the folder. And now even though the, the data layers underneath it are checked, if they're not checked on this on the folder level, they will not show up. So let's check that back on. 
Now you may notice that only a few of the data layers are appearing on the map, even though many more layers are checked on in the map layer list. This is because most of the layers are what we call scale dependent and will only appear in a map when you are zoomed in enough. So let's look at how we can zoom in and out and pan about the map. If you are using a mouse that has a wheel on it, the easiest way to zoom in and out is to scroll with a mouse wheel. Just scroll forward to zoom in and scroll back on the mouse wheel to zoom out. And if you have none of the tools active on our toolbar, you can also pan using the uh, mouse. Just click and drag and your map will move appropriately. Now even though you can't see my mouse, I'm going to zoom in with the mouse wheel. And as I do that, you'll notice that more and more layers start appearing as we zoom in closer and closer. At this scale, we can see our streams in blue. And the yellow lines here are our parcel lines. Let me zoom in a little more. At this level, the town layer is appearing as a dashed yellow line. Zooming in closer, we can see more roads appearing now. Let's go in one more level. And at this level, the mining claim names are appearing on the map as well. Now you can also navigate about the map using tools on a toolbar. On our Home tab, we have all these navigation tools. Initial view and full extent will take us back to our initial view of clear map, which is at the countywide level. Click the back button to take you back to our previous look. Pan, click on that to make that at the active tool, and then just click and drag with your mouse to move the map about. And zoom in and zoom out are pretty self-explanatory, but let me use the zoom in tool. Say we want to zoom into two blocks of Georgetown. Make the zoom in tool active. Click and drag a box about the two blocks you want. Release. And we've zoomed into that area of those two blocks. Another way to zoom in and out of the map is to use this scale bar box on the top. Right now we're zoomed in at 1 to 1200, which is equivalent to 1 inch equals 100 feet. Click on this arrow, and this will show all the fixed scales that clear map can be shown at. So say we want to zoom out to 1 to 4800, just click on that, and we're immediately zoomed out to that level. To get more information from the data layers that are showing on the map, use the Identify tool. First, let's zoom to Silver Plume. So let's go to our bookmarks, click on Silver Plume, and using our zoom in tool, let's zoom in to an area down here. Now back to the Identify tool, let's click on that to make that active. And let's click on the map anywhere. And on the left on our information panel, we now have a results tab giving us information for whatever data layers are on the map. So at the top here we have township data for 1959 highlighting what part of the map is in Township 1959. Below that we have Section 19 within Township 1959. Municipality of Silver Plume. 
And here's information on that specific parcel that we happen to click on. So let's focus on the parcel data. Right now we have some very basic information for the parcel. Parcel number, owner name, and the assessor's account number. And perhaps that's all the information you need. But if you want more information, just click on this title bar for the parcels. We have another window that shows up. On the Details tab, we have a little more information. The Attributes tab provides us with a lot more information. Parcel Ownership Info tab gives us information specifically about the owner of the parcel. And finally, this Links tab gives us access to the Assessor's database as well as the Treasurer's database for even more information. Let's just look at one of these. Let's click on View Assessor Record. And now we're in the Assessor's website and from here you can access a lot more information on this parcel. Let's get out of the Assessor's website back to Clear Map. One more tool on this Home tab that I'd like to show you is the Print Key. This gives us a very easy way to produce a high quality map, so click on that. Now on the left we have a Print Map panel with various options to choose from, including Select Layout. It defaults to an 8.5 by 11 map, but you have other options you can choose from. Same with output format, resolution, any kind of grid you'd like to put on the map, the scale that you'd like your map printed at, as well as any title or other notes that you'd like to put on your map. We have a more specific tutorial that focuses in on printing a map and goes over all these options in more detail, including this Preview Extent button. This is very useful to, in helping you zoom in to precisely what you want printed on your map. Again, just check out the tutorial on printing a map for more information on this. For now, though, let's just click on Print. This will take a couple seconds to prepare the map. Click on Open File. And here's our map with any kind of title at the top that you might want to put in there. Automatically produces a legend for you, as well as legal disclaimer, scale bar, map projection, the date the map was created, and then the bottom right is where any other notes that you might want to show on your map would appear over here. And from here you can either print your map or save it to your computer. Now let's look at some of the other tools on the other tabs on the toolbar. The Data Sources tab. We have some more advanced tools where you can add external map layers, shape files. This Google Maps button gives you an option to view your current map location in Google Maps. Find tab. Over here on the left there's some other options for identifying more than one layer at a time. To the right, up here in the toolbar, we have some more advanced tools for filtering or querying data. Drawing tab. Here's where you can add some customized markup on your map. I'll just show you a couple of these quickly. If you want to put a rectangle on your map, click and drag your box. Up here on the toolbar you can change the color of your markup, as well as for your border and the thickness of your line here. We can draw an arrow on the map. Just click and drag to produce the arrow. 
and text. You can write any text you want on the map too. You can adjust the font size here too as well. And then click wherever you want to put your text. Hit enter and there you have it. And then to the right on the toolbar is where you can erase some or all of your markup. Let's clear all of it at this point. One more tab to look at, the Analysis tab. Here on the right is where you can work with lat long coordinates, plotting or locating, as well as UTM coordinates. On the left here there are two handy tools, a distance tool and an area tool. Let's quick demo those for distance. Just simply click the line wherever you would like to calculate your distance. Double click to finish. And your distance will appear right below the line as well as up here in this measurement info area. In a similar fashion area, just click corners of whatever area you'd like to calculate. Double click to finish. And here we have the area calculated in square feet. It is also up here in this measurement information area. If you'd like to see it in different units, we have these options. Let's look at this area in acres. And we can see it's a little over half an acre. One more function of clear map that I'd like to show you is this I want to button in the upper left hand part of your screen. Click on that. And there's a whole series of workflows or you can think of them as little wizards to help you either locate specific information such as addresses, roads, parcels, as well as some other functions. Let me just quick demo a couple of these. Let's look at locate a road. Click on that. And on the left here we have a locate a road panel. Let's say we're interested in finding Bear Meadow Trail. Click on this roads box. Start typing in the name of our road. And you'll notice as we do this, a list of matching roads will appear below. At this point, the list has narrowed down to a handful and we can find our Bear Meadow Trail. Click on that. Click search. And the map is zoomed into Bear Meadow Trail and highlighted it in yellow for us. If you'd prefer not to see the highlight, simply click on Select None. Let's look at one more. Say we're interested in locating a parcel. We have the account number for the parcel and we want to see where that is. So click on Locate Parcels by Account Number. On the left, just start typing in the name of the account number. Click Search. And now we're zoomed into the parcel which has that account number we selected. In this case, it's the Cashier Mining Claim. That should give you a basic understanding of ClearMap. I encourage you to check out our other tutorial videos that focus on specific tools and other features in ClearMap.